Hey, what's up guys? It's Dushmaster here and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's video is going to be a real quick one. I'm just going to show you guys how to take an everyday photo like this and make it look really old and weathered looking. Um, yeah, just by using a few uh, textures in Photoshop and yeah, just color grading in Lightroom. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop with our image that we're going to be using. So for the textures, I've got six textures that we're going to be working with. I've got a couple of coffee stain textures. Um, I've got a crumpled paper a texture, a dust and dirt, um, an old film look, and a vintage film look as well. So basically I just stacked these in no particular order. Um, I added a multiplier a blend mode for each of them. I think there was one of them where I just added a screen uh, blender which works well but I find the multiplier um, works well when you're stacking textures in Photoshop. So yeah that's pretty much the look I came up with. So and you know you can do any look you want and also with the textures I'll leave those in the project file in the description below if you want to use those ones if you haven't uh, got your own um, uh, so yeah once you've got the look you're happy with uh, just save your image so we can uh, color grade in Lightroom which we're gonna head over to right now okay so here we are in Lightroom so the first thing we're gonna do is increase our temperature to plus 30, 31, and we'll just bring down the tint to about minus 11. And for our exposure, we're just going to bump that up slightly to about 0.57. Oh, yeah, lovely. And our contrast, we're going to increase that to about about plus 40. And we're going to bring down our highlights all the way to minus 100 and increase our shadows to plus 100 and bring up the whites plus 20 and we won't touch the blacks for now uh, texture we're going to increase that to plus 20 and we're going to bring down the clarity minus 20 and we're going to add some dehaze plus 20 for that bring down the vibrance to minus 30 and minus 20 for the saturation lovely and that looks pretty good as it is but we're going to take it a step further so moving on to our turn curve uh, so we'll just create our points here and for the first point uh, just import 9 for the input and 25 for the output uh, for the second point uh, just punch in 61 for the input and 53 for the output and for our third point, we're going to put 126 for the input and 132 for the output. And finally for our last point, um, 255 for the input and 235 for the output. Lovely. And that's starting to look really good actually. <laughs> So moving on to the HSL tab, um, just bring down the reds, minus 20. And take the blues, bring that down to about minus 40, minus 42. For the saturation, I bring down the red, minus 15. Minus 40 for the orange, minus 100 for the yellow. Minus 20 for the green, minus 100 for the aqua and the blue, and we won't touch the purple and magenta. And for luminance, we're going to bring that down, minus 40, and minus 50 for the blue. Lovely. So for our color grading, uh, for the shadows, uh, we're going to punch in. Uh, 253 for the hue and 5 for the saturation and for the highlights we're going to punch in 195 for the hue and 10 for the saturation and bring the blend in up to 100 lovely so for our sharpening 
uh, plus 40. And for the mask in, you hold down Alt on the keyboard, just click and drag all the way up to about 60 for this one. Lovely. And we're going to come down to vignetting, just add a little bit of a vignette, about minus 10. And we're going to actually add some grain um, to this edit, so about plus 20. And that'll just help blend everything together and give it more of an old old school look very nice and finally for our calibration I take the blue primary saturation and increase it to plus 50 and that looks pretty cool and there you have it guys that's how you can take an everyday photo like this and make it look really really old and weathered looking uh, yeah just using a few uh, basic textures and a little bit of color grading uh, nothing fancy and yeah it's amazing what you can accomplish um, yeah so as I mentioned before there will be a project file in the description below where you can download the textures and as well as the raw file that we used and also uh, this color grade that we created if you don't want to you know go through the whole process I'll save it as well so you can download that as a preset and just have a play around with that yourself um yeah on that note uh thanks for watching guys really appreciate it uh feel free to like subscribe leave a comment below with your thoughts and you know if you're on instagram or facebook uh yeah feel free to follow me and send me your results i'd love to see what you guys come up with uh yeah so on that note uh thanks for watching again and i'll see you in the next video cheers